Hello, this is Gary Gray from Our World Visual Dreams. I'm coming to you with a call of action, a personal call of action, not a sales pitch. But basically, I'm going on a journey with my wife and go up to Alaska and see our kids next May. And I've been talking to my doctor. Basically, what I did was I quit taking my metformin. So I basically, before I had to go see my doctor get my next blood test, I said, I'm going to quit taking my metformin, lose weight, take control of my life, and be healthier, less portion, blah, blah, blah. So, but when we go to Alaska in May, I'm basically looking at climbing Mount Marathon in Seward, Alaska, which I did when I was 20 years old. I did it once. It was hard then, but it's going to be hard in May. Basically, they do do a race there every year in, on 4th of July, and it's been going on for 103 years now. 104th anniversary would be next year. In, what's that 4th of July but we're going in May so I'm going to take my time and I'm going to climb that mountain but I like to like I said I'd like you to follow my journey and if anybody wants to want to follow the journey with me I would like to see somebody possibly try to do the same thing get healthy and to me that's a great goal I mean it's 3,000 foot mountain but you know you can do the you know the pitch is kind of steep, but there's some areas where you work your way up. It's kind of rough at the beginning, but once you get up there, it opens up, and it's good trails getting up. I remember, and that's, there's a lot of video on the Seward Mount Marathon website that you can see, and they show you steps of the way, the pitch, and everything. And there's a nice grassy knoll on top that you can lay down. At least it was when I was there. It was pretty thick, and but you can see miles and miles from the top up there and you can see mountain ranges behind you and i don't believe you can see any glaciers from there but you can see across the bay down below and in seward in the marina and vice versa so it's a beautiful view and I'm, like i said also i have I have a drone and then right here that i will be taking with me and hopefully get some very aerial shots at the top and i got a nice zuma smooth four gimbal that I'll be using for any other aspects of my travel. You, know, you put your iPhone in there or Android and it, it makes it's all done through this Bluetooth through this with an app and I tell you what it stabilizes your pictures and your videos and it's a thing and I'll be doing some reviews on all my equipment that I've received. I got a GoPro 2 to use vice versa so for water and action shots. And I'm really serious about this. And this is my goal. I like it. also challenge my daughter Melissa and Caroline if they can make it. If they can't, because Caroline does have a lot of going on, so I don't expect her to make it just because her son Michael is graduated graduating from high school, and we're going to be there for that. And I don't know what time I'm going to do it. It's going to be a nice day. I like a nice clear day. So when we do climb the mountain, so the closer we get there, then I'll let everybody know what time and day we're going to be there. So if anybody wants to join me, you know, I also like their husbands to join me, Baruch and Mike. If they, I mean, I'm sorry, Kevin, Caroline's husband, and in our grandson, Mike. But I don't expect them guys to make it. But if they can. But what I'm thinking about doing, though, is on Kodiak, going and climbing a small mountain there too because there's one behind Kodiak the village city of Kodiak and there's all kinds of mountains I mean Kodiak's a mountain I mean there's they're everywhere so they live in a valley so there's mountains all around their their home and, and that'd be great so and also maybe flat top in Anchorage I'd like to climb that too if I can because I tried it before and I was overweight then and I like to get up there and I attempt that one too and also there's a nice little mountain over by the air force base that i'd like to try too but i can't i can't fly my drone over there but i mean there's all kinds i like to go back to hatcher's pass hatcher pass is a great area to shoot video a little sitting in the river my backdrop of my youtube channel that's the river rolling river you can see all the rapids going right behind us my wife and i and i mean it's a blurry picture i'm going to get a new picture on there but that is one of the most beautiful you, you stand there it looks like it's running right into you but it's running by, by us and hatch pass is old mining village you know you go up there it's a park and you can see how the old mines used to be back in the old 1800s early 1900s and it's a beautiful site too and you can see the valley from there and stuff like that and like I said, if you want to follow me on my journey, I appreciate you coming along with me. And like I said, I'm, I'm going to try to get 100, down to 199 pounds. I'd like to get a little bit of 
when you climb mountains like that, you have to get your thighs and calves and your stomach muscles. I mean, I got a little bit of a bad back, so, but I, if I can drop the pounds, get in shape, you know, get off medication completely, I mean, I'm 53 years old, I still got a lot of life to live, and I, this is what I want to do. I want, you're, this is still a travel log. You know, I'm also th talking about doing an open forum and coming up with a name and doing that too. But I hope you appreciate and I hope you consider subscribing. And I got another video coming on another tip about the horrors of traveling. So I hope you appreciate it. Like I said, I hope you subscribe. Please comment below. I'm going to try to have some links for you below so that you can get to this Mount Marathon race or anything in Alaska that you're interested in. Maybe on this one, but another other blogs that we do so hope you enjoy thank you for listening bye bye